All right, folks, Mr. Teslonian back here again. We are almost done with this project. Uh, last video shot I showed you, we were getting this whole side system put in there. Our first filtering system, that'll be either charcoal or wood chunks that we put inside of that can. Smoke's gonna drop down once again. Maybe in the last video you couldn't tell, but these are actually welded. Uh, they've got kicker runners coming underneath there. I've got them hidden all over the place. I'm making sure that's really tough. In fact, just want to see, I can actually get up on top of this with both feet, and I'm not doing any flexing to that kicker board there. So anyways, that's a nice strong pipe welds all the way through. You can see I actually ended that corner just behind the headlight. That way there would be no glare or any uh, interaction with the headlight and the pipe. Uh, it drops back down up underneath the bumper here. Let me go underneath and show you what's going on there. You can see that basically I've got a hole saw hole. I angled that piece of pipe and that's now running into the bottom of this five gallon uh, oil can. I've got a hole here I still got to put a little tap out of so we can drain anything that does catch in there. Uh, so you can see the pipe comes all the way through, goes into the can like I said, and it also keeps going. It bypasses that into our fan here. And this is, uh, at least for now, the fan I have for the front fan. This will be the end draw fan for the whole system. It'll actually pull the smoke out, we'll close that off, and the smoke will draw through that pipe, through our filter here. Let me go ahead and show you how I put together the filter. Pull that open. Now the only thing that's probably going to change here is I'm going to actually end up cutting this uh, at a 45, and I'm going to slope this end piece aiming upwards a little further into the cap. Actually, so the smoke has to rise past it, draw through the center and back down. I, that'll do a better job through the hay. Uh, down inside of there, you'll see our bottom pipe coming in and a nice screen, round screen all the way around, standing off the bottom. That'll allow our smoke to enter pretty evenly underneath our hay. And that's what we're gonna fill this with. We're gonna fill this full of hay, and this will be our final filtering system, drying filter, uh, before it goes into the engine. So let me put the lid back on that. So there you go. That's what the front look is, and this is where I'm at. I haven't finished welding everything up, but right now I had to reduce the pipe to get through this uh, front clip here of the truck. I removed my grill. My grill is in perfect condition. I'm only the second owner of this truck, so I'm trying to keep it in decent uh, shape here. So I did remove the grill instead of cutting a hole in it. And there was already a natural hole right here in the front clip. So I went through there with the slightly reduced pipe. We are now inside the engine block. Uh, so everything's done. Basically I'm gonna finish weld this once I get the, the air combiner box all situated and mounted to the intake filter for the normal car, uh, for the engine there. And I'm gonna build that all together. Then I'll come through and solid weld it all once I got it into place, just in case I need to bend or tweak it just slightly. Uh, once I got it on there though, I'll show you what we've done for that. Anyway, so there's our final external filtering, radiator, cooling, and fan system. I know it looks a little strange, but the fact is it's going to work really, really well, folks. Uh, this is a great system for us that will have long-term use. Uh, the front can and everything here that you saw before, all the rough paint work, is all now going to get taken apart and put into sandblasting. We're going to have this all painted with the truck. All right, folks, now that I've showed you how the front filter system works and that we're all the way into the engine block, uh, all we have left here is to build a combiner, uh, the fresh air and smoke combiner basically underneath the hood, which I'll get to tomorrow. Uh, as you can see here, we are done. We've finished our reactor, our double cyclone water filter, all of our radiator system and our filters are all hooked together. So basically I've got some electrical to do for the double fan system I'll have this hooked up to. And we have a little bit of butterfly valves and stuff to do underneath the hood here and we're ready to go. So not just but a few days from now we'll be running around town here uh, on wood gas. And also filling our gas tank full of hopefully methanol and uh, some diesel gasoline derivative from the bio crude. Depends on how well I can get this reactor in here to break back down the, uh, the bio crude into what we're looking for here. So give me a little bit of time here to finish what we need underneath the hood. I'll throw the reactor back inside. I'll fill the hay filters and the charcoal filter back full and we'll start this thing up.